This is SAT test 3, non-calculator question number 19. College Board describes the calories in hamburgers and fries in two different ways. When you get two different statements relating the same two values, typically it's a system of equations in the form of a word problem. College Board asks six system of equations problems during the course of your SAT, so you want to make sure you're very good at these and you can solve them in a variety of ways and that you can write the system from the word problem. In this case, a hamburger, I'm going to use H for hamburger, has 50 more calories than fries. So H equals F plus 50, and I always check that carefully a couple times to make sure I have a plus 50 on the right side. A hamburger is more than 50 if I add, I'm sorry, a hamburger is more than fries. If I add 50 to fries, the hamburger is more, so that's on the correct side. I'm also told twice the number of hamburgers plus three times the number of fries equals 1,700. Well, I'm looking for hamburger, so let's rewrite this as H minus 50 equals F, subtracting 50 from each side. I can substitute this expression in for the number of fries in my other equation and solve for H, the no number of calories per hamburger. 2H plus 3 times H minus 50 equals 1,700. Distributing, I get 2H plus 3H minus 150. Make sure you distribute the H to both, the 3 to both the H and the negative 50. And that is 1,700. Add 150 to both sides. 2H plus 3H is 5H equals 1,850. Divide by 5, h equals 3 times 5 is 1,500, leaving 350. 70 times 5 is that 350. h equals 70, and f is 50 less, so f is 320. College Board didn't ask for that, but I know I can make arithmetic errors with numbers like these. So I'm going to check this equation. Twice the number of calories in a hamburger plus three times the number of calories in fries is twice 370, which is 740. And three times 320 is 960. Write it that way. 1700, which is the correct number for this combination. So I did solve it correctly. And they're asking for the number of calories in a hamburger. That would be 370. Come back soon for my next SAT math video. With math, there's always more.